Hi there and welcome to another Parker Adams video walkthrough tour. My name is Andrew Adams from Parker Adams Boat Sales and I'm here today in Lymington Yacht Haven and I've been asked to do a walkthrough tour today on a really really lovely Nimbus W9. Now the Nimbus W9 is a boat that I'll be honest I wasn't that familiar with. I've seen them around the Solent um, but a lot of the boats of this style that you see is the Axapar 28. As you know I'm sure we've got an Axapar 28 on charter so I'm really familiar with the Axapar so it's really great to come on board this boat and I have to say before seeing this boat I assumed that it was a little bit of an a Axapar clone but actually I have to say it has a huge amount to offer and it's a really different style of boating it's a true weekender whereas I look at the Axapar 28 as being more of a day boat that has the option to stay on board so I'm really excited to bring you this walkthrough tour um, this boat's a 2019 boat and it is presented in really, really lovely condition. And I have to say the quality of the build, the Nimbus quality throughout, is really, really evident. Um, it's got a really spacious internal cabin here with a really large double bed area. And then up here in the cockpit space, you can see there's loads and loads of seating options. So in terms of having sitting around here for a family meal, this table extends out, so you've got a double sized table here. And I would say you could comfortably sit six people around here and I'll show that to you. Um, with me in the seats a little later. But let's start off by looking at the bow. So first of all to note, and I think this is indicative of the quality of this boat, when you lift this up it's actually all on a gas strut which is really nice. And then if you look inside here what you'll actually see is a windlass and you've got a full stainless steel anchor chain as well. Uh, stainless steel anchor chains always look fantastic and it's just a, a Guide, a quick guide there to how the quality of this boat is throughout. I also like the fact there's a little cut through here so if you've got something like your um, power lead that just drops straight down into here. You've got access to the, um, the windless controls here but you've also got a wireless access as well. You can see you've got sun pad cushions on the bow. Now the sun pad cushions are quite nice on this because they've got a cutout and I just love the little touches like this, little bits of attention to detail. So typically on boats that have sun pad cushions you lose all of your light downstairs in the cabin. But that little square that you can see the hatch, what that does is that lifts straight out and then if you've got the sun pad cushions in place you've still got light streaming through and you just need to store that cushion. The style of this particular boat, they come with a couple of options. You can have them a totally open boat or you can have them with this hard top. Now this boat's fitted with the hard top which has an electric and retractable roof and you've also got a headlight on the front. Now I spoke to the owner earlier, I said in terms of use, what's the headlight for? Is it because of a search light, a running light or just to navigate into a marina berth? That would yes. work very, very well. All of the, the de decks are all laid to teak, it's genuine proper teak um, and this boat has just been fully cleaned. So you can see the teak looks a fantastic colour and literally looks just as good as the day that it was laid. It's in really, really perfect condition and again the quality of the Nimbus is such that you've got a really good amount of, of tread on that teak as well. So the walkthrough is wide, you've got grab handles all the way along um, and then as we move round to the stern, what I'll do is I'll just grab hold of the camera and you can see that this teak runs all the way along onto the stern. Very much a Nimbus thing is that you've got a stern gate here. You just lift that up and twist it out to give you access to the transom. But that does mean if that's closed in there, any small children are kept nice and safe. And then just little touches like this. The, the quality of the build, I think, is very, very strong. Everything's got little catches on it. Um, you've got little, um, I'm trying to think where the words, rubber grommets all around everything. So everything clips in really nicely, good stainless steel bathing ladder at the back and then this boat is also fitted, you can't quite see them but it's got blue underwater lights that are on at the moment and just to uh, give you a quality side, just give you an idea of the quality of this teak all the way around here looking really really special and then this boat is also fitted with an optional ski hook as well so if you do want to pull a skier um, or toys then you've got the option there as well. This boat's fitted with a Mercury Verado 300, um, beautiful smooth engine and this one's fitted in the optional white which again looks really really nice on this boat. I'm just going to pass the camera back as we step inside. So Probably the big difference I would say between the style of this and the Axapars is that you've got this really, really good seating area around here. And this is where, for me, this boat becomes a real true family weekender. Sitting around here, I said it would six. I think that's probably pretty accurate. 
you get six people around here and this table here folds out so at the moment it's in that slightly smaller design where you've got grab handles there but you can just open it up and now you've got pretty much a full-size dining table which I really like. The quality of it is excellent and just everything about this boat to me feels quality. It's a really lovely feeling boat. Um, I like the mix of Diamante and Silvertex on here and the colour is very sensible and pragmatic that it's not going to get too dirty. You can see down on the floor the teak is all the way throughout here and again it's the same really high quality teak. The boat is fitted also with heating, so there's a, a Webasto heating vent out here, and you've also got um, the, inside here you've got access to the water tanks. So there's a water tank access at the back there, and then I'll just take this again and walk forward. So, the first thing to note in, well, I'll just show around on this area here, what you can do is you can spin the table round, and I'm, there may be a better way of doing this, but I found if you turn the table round into, I think it was that position there, actually no it's not, let's go back round the other way. You wouldn't think I practiced this. If you turn the table around into that position there, then this backrest actually just hinges forward, and that very, very easily creates a really good sun pad area there. If you've got friends on board who you wanted to sleep overnight as well, then that would be an option. It'd be quite light in the morning, but as just a crash with friends, there's a good option there. So there's a really nice versatile seating area on there as well. And then to put that back up, you literally just lift up. I'm just going to hold the camera there. Just lift that back up and that pops back into position and then spin the table back around again as well just like that so let's keep walking through you can see really nice led lighting um, in really nice key places that lights up the floor at night this boat would look stunning and then this is your galley area so in here you've got a single sink i like the fact that that's a cut through there so the um, the, the spout um, the tap <laughs> goes through in there now this is actually a gas hob, so there's a gas bottle on board. It looks like it's electric, but it's not, it's a gas hob. And then down here, you've got a really nice isotherm fridge. And then typical Nimbus, you've got trays here that have got all the right cutouts, which is lovely for all of your crockery. Down here, more cutlery, sorry, crockery, glasses. And then this lovely big tray here, which has got all of your cutlery. Inside here is a big cupboard space. And there's lots and lots of storage on this boat. Again, the Axapars don't tend to have a huge amount of storage space, but this has got a brilliant amount. Fusion speakers, that's upgraded. That's the signature range of Fusion speakers. And then the helm is really, really functional. You've got a GPS plotter there. I think that's a 12 inch screen. Controls here for the headlights, your Mercury vessel view. And then as everyone probably knows, my favorite controller, that really nice, very tactile, beautiful to use um, Mercury controller for that Verado 300. The boat's fitted with auto tabs, you've got a zip wake system here so everything can be controlled automatically or manually. And the boat is also fitted with a bow thruster. Now this is the sort of boat that people always ask me, does it have heating, does it have a bow thruster? Um, and the answer is yes to both of those points, so two options ticked on that. The, the heat seating position is also very good where you've got this bolster so that lifts up out of the way or you can have it down in the full seating position. And then this hood is a really clever design where you can pop in the sides so you can get it also that you've got lots of airflow all the way around but actually leaving as it is now you've got the option of just pressing this button and you'll see the roof retract all the way close it through it's all automatic and then in the summer that will open everything up and then leave potentially all of these covers in place and then you've got these lift up here where all the covers can be put into these little socks, which again protects them from the salt. I really like things like that. Good chunky stainless. I said to the owner earlier, if it was a lesser brand than Nimbus, those would be much, much thinner gauge. But you can see on the Nimbus, they've gone for a really good quality there. And then this was the biggest shock to me, is a really, really good sized cabin in here. It's really light, the quality of the wood is excellent. You've got a microwave up here, and then a really good sized bed in there. LED lighting all the way around, and it just feels very, very high end and pretty sumptuous in here, to be fair. And even the heads compartment is really nice. I like the fact it's all designed so you can open it up, you get lots of space in there. And then here you've got a good size heads compartment. It's not a shower compartment, so there isn't a shower option on board this boat, but I'd suggest going to use the marina facilities if you wanted to have a shower, but it certainly is a good size in there. I'll close that back up. And then the other feature that this boat has got is there's a television on here. Now that's a television which runs on 12 volts, so you don't need to be plugged in in order to have access to the television. And then that's the hatch up there, which is covered with that square um, point that can obviously be taken out um, of the covers. 
So I'll just spin that back around there now. So I think I've pretty much covered everything on this boat. This is a really, really beautiful example. Um, 2019, the engine hours in terms of the engines have covered about 165 hours. So the owner's had her for a couple of years and it's really had very light usage all around the Solent, but he's absolutely loved it. He's upgrading to a larger boat now and that's the reason for sale. So if you're interested in this, please do get in touch with us at parkeradams.co.uk. We're going to be going out on this boat in the next couple of weeks to do drone videos. It's pretty, it's blowing a full six down here. It's pretty murky, so we decided not to do the drone videos today. Um, but I'll, as soon as we've done the drone videos, I'll add a link under the description here. If you haven't already, please do remember to like and subscribe to our channel. And we look forward to bringing you the next boat very, very soon. Thanks as always for watching.